What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. I'll know why I didn't just stand up. Here it is. Right where it says A. It's a boot it looks like. Oh, it's like an ice skate. I'm a crazy person. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um. Uh. Here's something weird. I recorded my video. It's like three minutes, and I realized I forgot to eat the chocolate. And so it's annoying. I made the thumbnail and everything, and I forgot to eat the chocolate. So that's why I did just now. So I'll just say what I said before. Uh, you know, we did a performance today. Well, we didn't do a performance. There was a, um, uh, we did backing for the choir. It was the trumpet section and a trombone, who's my friend, and um, a saxophone. And uh, we're, we were fine. Usually, this, is, this kind of happens a lot to the jazz band, and I'm sure other bands, I don't know. I, I've only experienced a jazz band, so I can only speak for the jazz band. But, um, you know, whenever you're going to do... When you're playing a song, um, it's usually at its absolute best when you do the warm-up at the beginning of the rehearsal, and then you maybe play a song, and then you play the song after that, and that's the best the song can be, usually. That's the height of ceiling, because everybody's warmed up. Not only has everybody done the warm-up, but everybody's warmed up by playing a song. They know how the, they're used to doing time in their head. They've warmed up, and second song um after the warm-up perfect right um but you know usually when you're doing a performance you have to sit backstage for a while and you have to wait because and you can't warm up and you can't do anything because it's way too loud uh because of other people are probably performing and that's the case then we weren't able to fully warm up and we didn't do as well as we could have uh we were just okay and of course it's gonna be mixed to where the horns are quieter than the choir of course, we were louder than the choir because we're horns, but it's going to be a recording and it wasn't live, so. Um, and it was only for one song, so. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. I have a funny story. The, um, the, uh, the choir was, like, middle schoolers. And um, the interesting thing is, is that uh, when you... Uh, middle schoolers have a... They're, they're like, little baby children. Uh, they're kind of annoying. No offense to middle schoolers, <laughs> um, and so when they were uh, they were practicing, they had to do a sound check, and they were rehearsing a song a couple times, and they had to redo it and redo it a couple times, and they complained. They complained one time, which by the way, we never complain in jazz band rehearsal to play the songs because we like playing the songs. I don't know if choir doesn't like singing, but I don't know why they'd be in choir. Anyway, some kids were complaining, and the tech support guy was like, "Hey, this is one hundred dollars." Cut out for a second. The tech support guy was like, hey, this is $100 a minute, so don't goof around. And then everybody was very quiet after that uh, and, and sang the songs very well. But it was weird because um, it makes me wonder if like this subscription is per minute. I Maybe he's using something really high powered and that costs $100 per minute to run, but that sounds like impossible. So I don't know why it would cost $100 a minute. I'm not doubting him but I just don't know why. Maybe there's like a subscription or something, I don't know. I, I, I really can't think of it. Maybe he's, maybe he's hosting some sort of, some sort of like cloud calculation service that calculates the, the best sound mixing or something, I don't know. Um, I couldn't guess. But yeah, that turned out pretty fun. And afterwards I worked on an essay outline, which uh, we had all day to work on, but instead of doing the essay in class, I just talked to friends. I know I shouldn't do that, but I did it. And uh, yeah, that's annoying. Uh, but, you know, once you get the essay outlined on, the essay should be really easy, and, uh, you know, I could probably finish it, I could probably finish the outline on Friday, either in class or at home. Probably not going to finish it in class, because, you know, I got, I got friends to talk to <laughs> instead of doing my work, right? Uh, but, you know, I always end up getting it done, anyways. Um, yeah. Yeah. For breakfast, I had a cheese bagel, 
and uh, kind of a parfait type thing and tea. For lunch I had pasta salad and for dinner we had pizza. Uh, best pizza in the world. And before you walk up to me and are like, ooh, uh, Leo, could I have a slice of your pizza? Like leftover pizza during lunch? Um, because I'm gonna have leftover pizza for lunch. Um, so keep in mind, the pizza is great, but it's not absolutely phenomenal because the pizza isn't made to for it to be left over. Like Pizza Hut pizza or Zeech pizza, it's made to be eaten fresh. And if you make pizza that's only made to be eaten fresh and then you eat it left over, of course it's gonna be good because <laughs> good food hot is good food cold, but it's not made to be really good forever. And so, you know, it's slightly worse when it's cold. That's fine, it's still very tasty, but you weren't getting the full experience unless it's fresh from the oven. Keep that in mind. Also, please don't walk up to me and ask for my food. It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> what's, what's up with that? I don't get that. Uh, yeah, all right. See ya, dude. Yeah, I'm just making sure I ate my chocolate because I forgot to last time.